They walk forward. They're off. They race away. They have eight to jump this time as they get away. Highway 102, Teddy Blue, Okun Risk, and also Ike Allen. And Rubo towards the right in the purple colours amongst the leaders. They clear number one. Uh, last year's winner, Glory and Fortune, is fractionally the back marker. Monville and company with Glorious Zoff and also Favoir towards the back of the field. Uh, several pulling quite hard early on, but in yellow and black, Nick Schofield on Okun Risk has one. One circuit to go and showing in front from uh, no ordinary Joe one off the running rails moved to just about second position highway 102 in white and red is next the orange sleeves of Teddy blue purple jacket of Rubo dark colors dark blue and red glorious Zoff is wide of this and they are then followed by Filey Bay favorites going to be seventh or eighth at this stage in company with restitution in light blue tritonic and master chewy behind these as they come to the second which is the first over on the far side uh, they are then followed through by Favoir, and behind Favoir is Ike Allen, the one with the plain white cap in the yellow and green hoop jacket. York sees now just about the back marker, Glory and Fortune with him as they jump over uh, the third flight. Uh, one wide on the course there is Glorious Zoff. Okun Risk in the yellow and black jacket, though still just about has the advantage. Orange sleeves of Teddy Blue, red sleeves on a white jacket of Highway 102 are in prominent positions. Filey Bay not far behind those, also banging contention is No Ordinary Joe. Uh, behind those in the light blue is Restitution. Uh, the back markers at this stage, Monville in the dark blue, Yorks is towards the rear as well as they come then towards the end of the uh, back straight and they all clear that one okay with glorious off wide of Okun Risk. Teddy Blue is right in behind these then No Ordinary Joe and Filey Bay and Highway 102. Rubo in the purple jacket and Tritonic and Restitution and one more for the road and Master Chu and they're followed by Glory and Fortune making a little bit of progress. Ike Allen is next. Fave Wire is the one who's dropped well behind the others. York Sea and Monville continue to be towards the back of the field but the along the side of the course towards the home straight. Okun Risk in yellow and black. Glorious Zoff in dark blue and red. Two lengths behind those is Teddy Blue and then comes No Ordinary Joe and Filey Bay together in fourth and fifth positions. Highway 102, Rubo behind those to Master Chewy and Tritonic. Uh, the noseband of Gloria Fortune picking them off. Behind these is Restitution and then Monville as they jump the third last in the Betfair hurdle. It's still Okun Risk about a length and a half ahead. Teddy Blue has moved into second position. One from the right, no ordinary Joe. Here's Filey Bay, the green cat, the white star, and it coming into it very strongly. He's now taken second position on the favourite as Okun Risk is at the second last with a lead of only narrowly about a length or so to Filey Bay in second position. Teddy Blue behind this to no ordinary Joe, Master Chewy, and then comes uh, Rubo as they move down towards the last then at the final flight, nearest to us is Filey Bay and Donal Mailer. Further from us is Okun Risk in the yellow and black colours, the long-time pace setter with Nick Schofield. They'll be wide apart. They're well clear from Teddy Blue. Into the closing stages they come. Nearest to us is Filey Bay. Further from us trying to battle him off is Okun Risk. Very tight between the two. Okun Risk and Filey Bay. Teddy Blue will just hold third to his stablemate Yorks. He has moved into fourth. Monville Master Chewy and Highway 102 behind those. Nick Schofield, he just won the bet for hurdle. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, thanks for Bet Goodwin and Chris Gordon and obviously the horse. Um, just take me through the race. It all it all worked out okay, did it? Must have done. Yeah, well, at the start it seemed like it was going to be a fast and furious gallop, but as soon as the takes went up, he just pinged. And um, I was only planned to sort of be in the first three, but he sort of he was travelling that well. I thought, well, I've got a nice posse. Let's not lose it, sort of thing. And um, yeah, he jumped from beat to beat and. I was trying to just save a bit for the, for the back of the last and thankfully had a bit left and finished off his race well. Were you worried that at any point during the race you were going a shade quicker than you wanted to just to maintain that lead? His jumping was his asset I just felt after the back of every hurdle he was filling up again and on this ground you can afford to just go that stride quicker and get away with it. If it was a bit softer I'd have been going too fast but on this ground he was able to keep going. And I mean the finish was excellent, uh, Farley Bay was, was, was cruising in behind you but your boy's got plenty of heart. Yeah, I was, it was a long way in front and felt a long way from the back of last, but 
even though he had nothing to race with, he still put his head down and tried, and that's what you need, isn't it? Mm. Horse that wants it. Um, it's great for you because I, I feel you, you've been unlucky the last few years, injury-wise, etc. Et but um, you're back here fighting fit, running some nice horses. Yeah, I've been lucky having nice winners, but unlucky with the injury. But I suppose everyone has it, and it sort of makes you hungry when you get back, I guess. Mm. And riding for Chris, who's having a fine season. Yeah, thanks to Sam Strong, who got me the ride. And I have had rides for Chris in previous, but obviously Tom Cannon's elsewhere, and mm. a lot of his usuals uh, had other rides. So just grateful to get the opportunity. Great, great stuff, well done. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, thanks. Cheers. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.